from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. We need some sunshine to enjoy on this Monday, even though the temperatures aren't quite responding just yet. Give it another day or two. Spring warmth will be uh, back before we know it. As we look live from Gathering Place, beautiful at the lunchtime hour, and as we've, I've noted, at least a lot the last uh, week or two. Things greening up and things blooming pretty nicely out there at the park, but still need the jacket right on through the afternoon hours. 55 degrees, north winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. So that'll keep things a little brisk, especially in the shade. If you're in the sunshine, you know, it'll feel a little better, but in the shade, uh, that breeze will be adding a little chill at times. Low to mid 50s for all of eastern Oklahoma. 58, the warm spot right now. Wilberton and Stillwater. Tulsa's 55, Bristow 56, Tahlequah, McAllister coming in at 54. We'll have some pass clouds of the afternoon straight into it here on future view because there's a lot to discuss this week uh, some lower 60s actually I should say temperatures closer to the 60 degree mark Coffeyville, Veneta, Miami that's 63 64 here in Tulsa you get I-40 to the south just a touch warmer mid to upper 60s you follow Stigler McAllister Wilberton today those winds will eventually uh, settle down with time overnight into tomorrow morning calm conditions very light winds and clear skies and probably till about sunrise It'll be a chilly start Tuesday just without the wind. Upper 30s in the metro. And yes, I want you to watch closely. Look closely here. Pahuska, Bartlesville, uh, Nawada. You're not on the map, but Nawada, Vanita, Coffeeville, Miami. Getting pretty close to that freezing mark again tomorrow morning. I would say if you're north and northeast of Tulsa, just be prepared to maybe cover some plants up again tonight. I would not be surprised to see some frost in our northern and northeastern counties in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, sunshine and then clouds filter in. Temperatures look nice. We'll be mid to upper 60s to near 70. Stronger southeast winds. And by later in the day, we'll start to see a few showers popping up. Now, a lot of this initially Tuesday afternoon is not going to reach the ground because the air is going to be very, very dry. But by Tuesday evening and Tuesday night, that chance for a few showers to reach the ground will increase. And then notice as uh, kind of randy all the way through Wednesday morning here. But from late Tuesday and early Wednesday morning, a few scattered thunderstorms near and east of Tulsa could be a little bit on the heavier to maybe strong to severe side. Wednesday morning, again, that's moving off to the east. Wednesday afternoon, uh, I'm going to stop the clock again and give you an idea what the highs are going to be. There'll be some 60s and 70s to the east of Tulsa and around 80 to the Tulsa Metro. Cold front crashing in, uh, or at least getting close to us. And out ahead of that front, there could be, this is kind of a wild card right now, but if we recover a little bit, there might be a window for a few strong and severe storms Wednesday evening. Notice how warm those temperatures are around Oklahoma City and Norman. Let's expand this out a little bit more. Look at these highs Wednesday afternoon. Again, we've got 70s on our side of the state and 80s west of Tulsa. That is not a miss point. We're talking mid 90s in southwestern Oklahoma Wednesday afternoon. They'll be behind the dry line. Unfortunately, it's going to be another critical fire danger day and week out in western Oklahoma until they can get some rain. And as we roll from Wednesday into Thursday, this is going to be kind of the general trend here. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it is not going to rain continuously at all. In fact, a lot of us will miss out, but there'll be continued chances for some scattered showers and occasional thunderstorms early Wednesday, late Wednesday, and early Thursday, and then potentially again on Friday, especially into the weekend. Now, the temperatures will be coming up, so the normal lines right in here, which is low 70s, and we'll get back above that Wednesday, Thursday into Friday as south winds kick back in. So the warmer weather is not too far away, just a couple more uh, cool days to get through, specifically today and tonight. Breezy on Tuesday. Plenty of wind after this, though. Notice we've got those gusty south winds for the rest of the week yet again. And those rainstorm chances. We've got opportunities almost every day, but I want you to notice they're far from 100%. So a lot of us will miss out with these storm chances at times, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but a few of those could be locally strong at times. And we'll kind of keep the active weather pattern going through the weekend. Uh, storm chances, at least scattered, Saturday into Sunday as well.